Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to the Beginner's Guide for No Man's Sky. We're working our way through the main storyline, showing you guys how to work all the various things out because the game doesn't always tell you. And we are currently sitting on a high activity sentinel planet. That's why I'm sitting in my ship here before I run out. And now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Extreme, which is real bad. Oh, this is where they change things. Okay. Hold on while I blast through this as fast as I can. Yes, we know. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to give us all these glyphs. We have to actually hunt them down. At least that's the way it used to be. We'll see what happens here. We're almost there. Here we go. Traveler capture loop enabled anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. it. requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Yeah, we'll request. Okay, so... Oh, it doesn't show up. I just took a screenshot, so when I'm done, if I need to, I can sign out of the game. I suggest if you're playing this on PC, do the same thing. Uh, take a screenshot because I don't know what it's going to have us do now. Now what? Ready the portal glyphs to, to Apollo at a hollow terminus. Okay. How far are we looking here? Ooh, a minute. Uh -huh. So we'll see how big of a storm it is, huh? That's okay. It is all good. Oh, that's further out in the lot, so we'll go up higher. Of course we passed it. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. It's a pretty wicked planet. Funky atmosphere and shit. Jesus, look at that. Man, I can't see squad. How am I supposed to see the terminal thing? Wow, I don't remember them putting these this this uh, much of an effect this low. Just trying to run around and this is going to be a nightmare. Oh well. Everybody's all messed up on this planet. Dude. Oh no. See the problem?
Oh, move, dude. Because if that thing actually gets a scan off on us, it's going to bring like 10 or 15. Let's see if it falls us on the ground. Yes, it does. Man, what a weird looking area. Now this sucker's gonna set up, oh, man. Of course, I knew it. Let's give him a sec here and they'll disappear. That's why I ran in this cave. I was hoping I could do this. There we go. Oh no, they're all staying, aren't they? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, really? I suppose they're gonna attack me when I go up here. Oh, maybe not. Huh? They don't follow you up the towers? That's surprising. I was gonna be right up my business. <laughs> really? That is just some shit ass luck, isn't it? Drop right through the hole like that. And get hurt. Alright. How will determine to activate it? Multiple signal sources available. Tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holofire communication across the long. Yep, tuned to Apollo. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded. My stomach is full. I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Yeah, we're good. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. They don't know if, if the portals are safe. Sure, I'll give it to one not? I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care. Remember what happened to Artemis? They assure me they will, promise, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from the so-called Null. Warn me to be careful. Okay, so we're going to get Null next. Nope. Oh, yes. There we go. Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did. Once upon a time, I was angry, confused, at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me up. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now, and I need your help. Of course. The Atlas. It is not what you think. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Sentinels do not just keep peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiverse structure and limiting them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be a traveler. Uh, there's an observatory nearby. It'll lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. Okay. Note that Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. 
No more than air or wind might be called such names, but it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Oh, we didn't bring our ship this time. There we go, we'll just do that, and then we'll drop right on top of it. Get away from these stinky sentinels. Ooh. I do like the storms on this planet, though. That was really cool. Why is everything shaking so much? See what I'm saying? Probably a bug. Before I forget, let's get that fueled. Oh, it changed. You see, this is one of the things that still drives me nuts. All right. Yeah, there we go. Is that it likes changing your quest markers that you're on, just randomly. You know, if I want to come off of this, I'll come off of it, but... Okay. Whoa! Oh, stuff, get out of my way! Came in too tight. So we're looking for an observatory, huh? That looks like one. Yep. And it's abandoned one, too. To all those stinky eggs there. Hmm. What do you got for me? Ooh. Terminus uh, Kiersey open, logs ready to read, huh? Observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by geek specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, sowing seeds of dissentment. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the racks, abbreviations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, events that did not happen. The geek went out of to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corex still on board, they never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friend found each other? There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat, 16 short bursts of a dial loop. I extract the coordinates from the distress crash festival. Yep, on another world. Okay. Thank God. Get off this planet. <laughs> No! You know what? Because they came out, I'm gonna run over here and grab my nanites. Oh, no, I'm not. I got extra navigation log. There we go. Every little bit helps. Uh huh, and I got that one locked in there. And again, if you want an uh, easy way to make nanites, shoot those eggs. But there's a nasty surprise that comes along with it.
See? Look at that. We blasted off almost in that atmosphere. That's one of those atmospheres I was talking about that is very thin. Not much to it. Hold on a sec. That's not the crash site. That's the crash site. And this is usually the thing they want us to talk to. Crew manifest, uh, limited deliverable. Oh no. I wonder where you're supposed to get the encryption key. And there's our answer. Okay, so we just have to... Really? Thank you. Ooh, okay. Oh. Keeping that ammonia is going to be helpful. Okay. Now, I did that because we're going to come have to go flying out of this place because you get massively dosed with radiation if you don't. There it is. Encryption key. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful. Now we thought we had been forgiven. We were wrong. Ah. Oh. Okay, so that's the game we're playing, huh? Wish that storm would go away. Now, the problem is. If there's another one of these... I'm not quite sure where it is. We'd have to dig for it. Right? Because I don't see... Well... Anything else? Well, no, we, there might be some over there. Oh, finally. Not really. Look at that crap. That's not clearing. Ah! So I put a new jump thing in here. Doesn't... It's always been really random whether it works right or not. In my jetpack. Ship on quested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stuck as one and attack somehow coordinating across fathomable distances. Fury exceeding all prior skirmishes of sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. Oh, wow. The Korvax stood with me in the end. To their credit, they... Oh, God damn it. Really? Alrighty, folks. So, when you're running around, see right here it says a cargo pod. Just turn your scanner, highlight it. Run over to it. Make sure you clear a big enough space out. Oh, I was close. That is the easiest way. There we go. Did it say two of three? Okay, so this should be the last one. Okay. Okay. 
They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know. All of us, we are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten, just like me. A thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the honor... Oh, sorry. No matter the horror, not honor, but horror of the inn. They are at my door. I... Error. Okay. Now what? Let's see. Activate a hollow terminus again. There we go. From Artemis, huh? Let's see what he has to say. I escaped, traveled where I escaped. One moment I was running from them, the stars shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. The next I was here, well, wherever here is, this new world has a sun, has life, it's beautiful, but I think anything would be beautiful after the months I spent in that awful place. I'm ready to get going now, though. We'll do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If we bring the star chart to a nearby station, I'm sure we'll find each other soon. Remember, says, unaware of everything. They do not know that they died, that I made a choice to bind their soul within a simulated solar system. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Tell Arnold I'll help, though much has happened since we last spoke. I prefer an agent mission for a newly discovered traveler by the name of Null. I will assist Artemis the star chart when I can, but it may be some time they should attempt to find another pathway off the world if they can. Arnold's responded muted. But they do not disagree. They wish me luck and terminate the communication. Okay. Yeah. Kill two birds with one stone. Alright, look there we go. So much better when you're on a decent world. That was not very helpful. Oh well. Let's see. Should be right on the edge, right? Yeah. Let's go on this side. See if we can actually not fall into the hole. Toxic protection. Falling. Auto terminus activated. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. I tell Noah of the freighter, its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Korax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Korvac entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read has surprised me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse dimensions where things happen differently, but there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a single being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. We serve the Atlas ones. They are guardians of a great reality. Defenders of... That's not civilization, is it? That word? Oh, maybe it is. They hunted for errors within the universe, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation record 
recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do such a thing like that. What about the Atlas? That has created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. That they are annihilated, that they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do something like that. After time, the Sentinels enter their service to the Atlas. What went wrong? It was the travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I, I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from the deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Not, not a knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with him. I will translate. Okay. So. Usually. If the game continues. Yeah. Located on the Galaxy Star map. I was going to say that. Since it's not popping straight in here. Where we are. Right? It didn't come in this. Um. Alright. Let's see. Right there. I say sometimes I get lazy, my ship can take it. Why is it telling us to go? Oh, new guide entry unlocked derelict freighters. Yeah, those are fun to do. Actually, you get you'll make a shit ton of money. And, well, not too much on the money, depending on whether or not uh, you get a freighter that has abandoned ships in it, because then you really get some good nanites. Uh, but, let's see. Oh, no! I'm just batting a thousand today. Thing you should always do whenever you first get in here. Let's see, what how is it now? 30 G's? That's not too bad. 60. 500. See, that's just mean. That's just mean. Oh, that's a cool looking ship. Oh, but it's. Oh man, I like that one. Anyways, folks, so we will talk to the car cartographer because, yeah, it changed the damn pat thing again. There we go. Which is weird. As soon as we jump into the station or jump into the system, it changes it. They gotta fix those bugs. Anyways, folks, come back. We'll talk to that dude. So, keep your heads down. You're astronauts of doom. Up. And I'll see you again. A real damn soon.